So um, uh, we just interviewed today a lot of mecamon that we collect uh, in the forest and what we need to do is to separate the serum from the uh, red blood cells. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a pipette um, and very carefully we are going to take the serum and we are going to put it in our the clean serum and this is what we're going to use for our assay. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a plate map. So what I'm going to write, I'm going to write in the order that I analyze the samples. So then in the future, if I want to know um, what samples I analyze and, um, and go back again to our data, I can uh, have here an old copy, you see, so we can see uh, if there were any dilution, the date, what elephant it was. So when I go back to the computer, I can review um, the results uh, in case I need it. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a standard curve. So we have here a uh, concentration of progesterone that, we'll, that we know. So we are going to make and a standard curve so then later the computer can compare between our samples and the concentrations that we know. So this is what we're going to do now. So in order to do that we're going to do a serial dilutions and this is what we're going to start to do it. So now we are going to dilute um, This is our the more concentrated pressure. And we are going to dilute it in our pump. Um, so now we have our um, standard curve, curve uh, ready. So here is our lower concentration of progesterone and goes all the way to the higher concentration of progesterone. So then we create this reference value. So later um, the computer, the, uh, the micro reader can tell us what is the concentration of each unknown sample of the serum of Macramon. Okay, so now we have uh, everything prepared, we have our samples, we have the standard curve, our controls and the plate ready. So what we're we going to do is to load everything in the plate, incubate with the uh, air chappy and the antibody and then let's see what are the results. So this is what we're going to do. So we are now um, putting the samples of uh, the serum samples that we just uh, collect from Macramon and we want to determine if CC already reached baseline. Okay, so now the plate is loaded. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to create this uh, competition, so we put our uh, samples and then we're going to add a small quantity of uh, progesterone with a label and uh, our antibody and we will let it uh, incubate for two hours. Um, so then after two hours we will see uh, what are the um, concentration of each, uh, in each well. So we're going to start to place, this is uh, uh, progesterone HRP. So this is our repeater, we mix well. Ok, 
Okay, so we just put the abbreviation, which label, and now we're going to put the antibody that is going to find progesterone. As well. So now we're going to let it incubate in the placeaker for 2 hours at 500 RPM and then we will let the, the progesterone in the sample to compete with the progesterone that we um, add with the label and let's see in 2 hours what are the results. So we put 500 RPM for 2 hours. So our plate is dry and we are ready to put this with tray. So now we're going to put the sous tray. So then it will uh, react with the label that we put in the, in the projection. Uh, so it will give us a uh, blue color. So now we just need to wait a half an hour to the color to develop and then in half an hour we will come and we will measure uh, the results. So exactly 8 o'clock. Alright, um, so now it's already a half an hour incubation and we can see that the blue color is developed. What we can see is that um, the last sample of uh, Megramon, that the blood that we collect today is kind of like the same color from all the samples that we pick from previous baselines. So just by observing the plate, it kind of tells us that she's really in baseline and we confirm by compare with other baseline values. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop the incubation and we are gonna use a reader and see is gonna the machine is gonna tell us exactly the concentration of each well. So the reaction is moving so we have to read the plate as fast as possible. So this will tell us the concentration of each well. So the first thing, uh, so these are, are the raw data, so this is the optical density of each well. Um, the first thing that we're going to check is uh, the mean, so it's perfect. This is our controls. Our controls, they need to be in about 30 and 70% by mean. So it means um, the plate is, has developed well. And also we see that our standards go from 100 to, so from the maximum concentration of progesterone to the lower value of progesterone, so it means the standard curve also is in a, is a correct. So then we can we can say that the results are, uh, we can trust the results. Okay, so it confirms that it's still in baseline. So we can see how progesterone drop down all the way to the bottom to baseline and it stays there. So we can confirm that she's ready for delivery. We don't know when, it can be tomorrow or next day or four days. Well, the only thing that we know is that the baby is coming soon. So we had to activate the 24 hour observation. Mahudze will have to monitor her 
day and night and when she's ready we will be ready also.